Praise the Lord. Happy Sabbath. We're gathered together to partake of the Lord's Supper. And uh, pastors asked me to, to read this uh, familiar but most important section in 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verses 23 and 24. It says, For I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread, and when he had given thanks, he brake it and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. At this time, there's a mic coming around for all those who'd like to offer praise to God publicly, a testimony of the goodness of the Lord in your life. <clears throat> we have Sister Jeannie up front. I thank the Lord for his atonement, for Amen. him interceding for me. For without that, I would not have an opportunity to be here today, to breathe, to live, to make choices for him. Amen. And I just pray that he will always keep his atonement ever before my face, that I will always Amen. remember. Amen. Amen. I want to thank God. We had an especially riveting camp meeting at Sheridan Meadows last week, and there was just a special spirit of brotherhood and unity in the messages that God was giving to his servants and how they just lined up together. And uh, I met, I saw a lot of familiar faces and met new faces, but was really blessed and revived by our time together at Sheridan Meadows um, last week. God is very good. Anyone else would like to offer thanksgiving to God? I would just like to thank God for bringing us to this area so we were able to meet everybody and become part of the church. Praise Amen. the Lord. Praise Amen. The Lord. Very thankful. Very thankful for all of the faces today. I see lots of visitors and guests, and we're glad to have you. Very thankful. Amen. We have Sister Jean, Brother Bob, to your right. I want to thank the Lord as the great physician for he has healed me from the crown of my head to the soles of my feet. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Amen. We have another. Oh, brother. Um, my brother Sam and his wife uh, celebrated 20 years a couple days ago, 20 years praise of marriage, God. and my mom is here, and she's in good health, so praise the Lord. Amen. 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 We have Sister Lenita. I want to praise the Lord and thank all of our church members for welcoming my friend Renee at camp meeting last weekend. She Amen. really, really enjoyed it, and she told, has told me multiple times, next year I'm going to come for the whole week. <laughs> so, um, But we do need to pray for her that she will make that full commitment to the Lord and, and will commit to um, not taking other obligations on Sabbath. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Certainly, we want to pray for her.
Let us pray. Father in heaven, grant that we may remember the body of Christ, kept free from sin through his life, and then severely broken, bruised, torn, and even pierced for us. In Jesus' name, let us eat together. First Corinthians 11, again, now verse 26. After the same manner also he took the cup, and when he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as oft as ye drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, you do show the Lord's death till he come. Amen. Amen. Father in heaven, we're very grateful to be here. What a special time to rejoice over being forgiven. Amen. And it also brings to us, Lord, your promise that you want to give us the strength to overcome. Thank you for, for the atonement. Thank you for your hand and your presence in our lives that we might become more and more like our Savior and a blessing to others. Lord, we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. And there is uh, still opportunity for others to share thanksgiving and praise. I want to thank the Lord for that we have a place to come to and um, worship freely. Amen. You know, there's a lot, of, a lot of people in this world who can't worship the way we do. And we take this for granted. I know I do sometimes, but if you really think about it, and there will be a time when we won't be able to come together like this in a, in a building like this, but we'll be able to go in small groups. But I thank the Lord for the time we do have. Amen. Amen. I want to thank God that victory is something we can really experience in our lives. Um, and it's something I desperately need more and more. I was, I don't know how I came across a video this week of an example of modern day slavery in Pakistan in these uh, brick uh, factories. Um, basically, there are these wealthy landowners who will pay a person's debt of some manner. And there was this one family that he had enslaved for 23 years. It was a mother, her son, his wife, and their son. And the young man, they're out there working. It's 120 degrees. They're breathing in. They're, the kids are dying young because they're breathing in dirt and these toxic fumes from these brick ovens. And they talked to the young man about the future, and he said, I don't even think about the future. And uh, I had to, I, that day I had just found myself uh, complaining. I had found myself complaining or lamenting some things that were kind of difficult for me. And um, it, it, was, it was a great challenge to me because, you know, this whole system they had set up, it involves... These uh, wealthy, these corrupt wealthy men who are in bed with the Pakistani government, and this is only one element of a modern day example of slavery. And I was just praying to God. I said, God, I need the faith that 
the work you've given me to do, the part you've given me to play in hastening your second coming is what I, is what I need to do to, uh, to work towards an ending of human suffering. And uh, suffering exists on a, on a terrible level in this world, but I, I thank God that we can do something about it, even if we can't just fly over there and, and get the bad guys and save all those poor people. God has, God has told us that the work we do every day matters if we're faithfully working for him, building up his kingdom. So I'm praising God. Praising God. I praise, um, the, I praise the Lord that, um, I mean, he's so good, just the fact that he has forgiven us. And yeah, it's such an honor to be here. Uh, I was baptized at the Kettle Falls Church 21 years ago. Amen. And uh, it's such a huge blessing to be here today uh, for a communion service. Amen. Will you stand with me as we drink this? Because after drinking, we will sing together. So let us stand and partake of the Lord's cup together. Uh, let's bow our heads. Father in heaven, the blood that Jesus shed for me way back on Calvary, the blood that gives me strength from day to day, it shall never, ever lose its power. Amen. In Jesus' name, let us drink together. Amen. The Bible says that uh, after they supped, they sang a hymn and went to the Mount of Olives. We'll have to learn that hymn to sing it together. Before today, let's open our hymnals to number 332. 332, the cleansing wave. Let us end our service on this high note of rejoicing in the cleansing of Christ's precious blood. May the Lord give us hearts of repentance to open our hearts to fully receive the gift that he has so freely provided for us. 332, the cleansing way.
Praise the Lord, everyone. We thank you for gathering with us today and celebrating this supper with us. We invite you to stay after for our potluck. Um, this is not all you get to eat today. Amen. Um, we invite you to stay. Remember that uh, the junior deacons will be collecting an offering for the deacons fund on your way out. And that is especially important to the service work of the church. And I uh, also just want to remind everybody, uh, don't let me get away if I have not come and visited you at your home. One way you can uh, get in touch with me and, and, and we can work out a time when I can come see you. I'd like to come see you and your family in your home is uh, take one of these cards, fill them out, 